it's definitely getting much harder, harder Swiss wall. Today, I'm taking you on one of the world's most notorious and challenging ski runs. And as you can clearly see, it's getting real here. Deep bumps, extremely steep slopes, and now let's take a closer look at it. And here you are, first greeted warmly, welcome to the Swiss wall, 90% slope are indicated here over 330 meters of altitude that you descend and if you already look into it then you get nervous from the lift already. We take a look at the whole thing from the edge. The bumps are so high it's really at body height up here. If I stand here it's probably only a head taller, that's how high it is here. If you dare to drive into this, no chance, you'll rip apart immediately. So it's really about carefully choosing a good line through these very challenging bumps. One thing is abundantly clear, you need a lot of courage, bravery and determination now to tackle this terrain. And now we're going to try to find the good line. As you can see, when I stand here, whoa, 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 it's intense. Just over there, someone fell, a snowboarder just passed Basti by really, really close. So when you go in here, please have your skiing technique under control. There's the next one. Now, we'll weave our way through this part, all right? On your marks, ready? So up here, you still have to find your way a bit. The bumps here are definitely much higher than down there. So in here. Once you have a line, like straight, that's already pretty good. But the bumps are so deep that the pure mogul technique, like pulling in your legs, sometimes isn't enough anymore. You can no longer keep your upper body stable. You have to somehow muddle through. Some do it that way here too. There are still a few brown spots in there. Caution is definitely advised. It's certainly a lot of fun. And here, avoid the rocks. Now I'll take a left turn from here. Is that possible? Oh you really God. got through the buckler? Here I am talking big and acting like everything's easy. Shit! I'm seriously sweating here. Let's quickly get out of this danger zone. A sharp edge like that has become my downfall, you know? That's where the shovel went through and then this one's really tough here. Yes, we're noticing more and more that the Swiss wall, also called the Swiss barrier, truly deserves its name. She is world famous and notorious. And why is it even called the Swiss wall? Well, because here in the Porte du Soleil ski resort, we can ski right across the border down into Switzerland. Down there is Switzerland and across the border lies France, waiting to be explored. The descent here goes by three names, Swiss wall, Swiss border wall, or Chavonnet. I can't pronounce French well, Anyway, one thing is for sure, you can't bypass them. If that's the case, you should take the chairlift down. Some people do that here and you should do it too if you're not yet good at skiing moguls and just need to gain more experience. This is quite a big challenge right here and this is where the hump moderators come from. Now, let's head to the yard. Bet. Made it. <laughs> very, very strong indeed. What an incredible descent. I'm glad I finally got to ride it. The Swiss wall, there you can see it again in full. Located here by the chairlift. Yes, and how do you know you're arriving in Switzerland? By the Rivella and the Swiss flag. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video about the Swiss wall. I'd be really happy if you watch more of my videos and of course, feel free to provide tips for other runs that we definitely need to film. 
write down in the comments below. I'm looking forward to it. See you in this video. I thank Basti who raced through the slopes with me here. It was really fun. Thanks a lot. Great cinematography. And then on to the next video. Bye.